Hi Precalc. Uh, go ahead and title your notes 1.1b, Open and Closed Intervals. Uh, I realized the other day when I did my video tutorials, we didn't talk, I don't think, about what it meant to be open and what it meant to be closed. So for clarification, uh, here are two open intervals, and the union of these two open intervals is giving us an open interval. This should help a little bit with your homework tonight. Um, also, here are two closed intervals. So the difference between open and closed is just the same as a circle, right? If it's a closed circle, then it's the bracket, which means this is a closed interval. So here's a closed interval, union with another closed interval, giving us another closed interval. Um, and then, as a little helpful hint with your homework, uh, that worksheet that you were supposed to finish, um, this should be a big hint at least, uh, this symbol right here means the infinite union. Basically, it's taking the union from n equals 1 to infinity. So what we're going to do here is, with this little closed interval I've got, this expression, every time n changes, whether n is 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, I'm just going to be plugging it in here and over here and seeing what this interval becomes. So for example, if n equals 1, we've got, I don't like looking at my fingers anymore, I'm going to look at a pen. It's a nicer pointer, I think. So if n equals 1, I'm going to plug 1 in everywhere I see an n. And then I'm going to do a little bit of math here, and I figure out that this interval is the interval 1, 2, a closed interval. And then I plug in 2, do a little bit of math, and plugging it in where the n's are, right? n is 2 this time. And I get another closed interval. And the idea with an infinite union is that you're just going to keep doing this for n equals 3, and n equals 4, and n equals 5, all the way till n equals a billion, and then a gazillion, and then, you know, it's going to go to infinity. So what happens is that we have these little closed intervals, and since it's the union, you're taking everything. And so my, my intervals are getting closer and closer and closer to zero on this side. Notice that these numbers, one, a half, a third, a fourth, are all getting closer and closer to zero. And then on this side, I've got two five-halves, eight-thirds, eleven-fourths are also getting closer and closer to a number, but they're getting closer and closer to three. Since this is an infinite union, we're going to get infinitely close to zero and infinitely close to three. However, we're never actually going to get to either one, and so that means our resulting answer is an open interval, where we have open circles at three and open circles at zero. So the infinite union of closed intervals, in this case, is going to equal an open interval. That should be a pretty giant hint for your homework. Here's another big hint. Since I'm posting this late, I feel like I should give you guys some, some pointers. On the happy dolphin problem, let's let x be the number that you were thinking about. And remember, you're supposed to add 4, and then multiply by 2, then subtract 6, then divide by 2, and then subtract your number. If you simplify this algebraic expression, you will definitely see why you always get 1. It'll make a lot of sense. Uh, so that should help out a lot. I hope you're having a good rest of your weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much.